Former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman on Monday released new tapes of President Donald Trump in a private meeting talking about former Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton's ties to Russia. Of course, Manigault Newman decided to poke the president once again by playing the audio recording on the rabidly anti-Trump ABC's The View, where the Yentas have no issue ripping President Trump a new one each and every day as they remained silent through the Barack Hussein Obama regime. Omarosa confirmed that this recording she released today was from an October 2017 meeting with the White House communications and press teams. Which could prove to be her undoing since it might be considered a federal offense to record White House conversations. Here is more via the New York Post. Former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman unveiled yet another secret West Wing recording Monday in which President Trump accused Hillary Clinton of colluding with Russians before the 2016 presidential election. I think Hillary is getting killed now with Russia. The real Russia story is Hillary and collusion, the president said on the tape. Somebody told me it was $9 million they spent on the phony report. Yeah, someone just said she's far worse for the country than we thought, she didn't know her own campaign was spending nine, did you see, he said, referring to money paid to Fusion GPS, which hired British ex-spy Christopher Steele to prepare a damaging dossier on Trump. Nobody knows who spent. I heard it was 5.7, now they say it was 9. It was spent through a law firm so that way they can't trace it. The reason they used a law firm, you don't have to give any papers, he continued. It's definitely illegal and it's illegal from a campaign financing standpoint. So the whole Russia thing I think seems to have turned around. What do you think, Sarah? He asked spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Absolutely, she replied. His comments came during a meeting of the White House press shop in October 2017, and echo other public statements in which he accused Clinton of being in cahoots with the Kremlin. Trump, Manigault Newman added, has taken desperate measures to shut her up. He has sicked his entire legal team on me. They want to shut me down, she told the hosts of The View, but, she added, I'm going to keep on fighting. She also charged that Clinton was robbed in the 2016 presidential election and that she's speaking out now in part because she feels complicit in what she called a robbery. Asked if she knew who wrote an unflattering op-ed about the president published a week ago in the New York Times, she pointed the finger at Vice President Mike Pence's chief of staff, Nick Ayers, without offering evidence. A day earlier, the former Apprentice star told MSNBC that she and other White House staffers and family members used a special hashtag to communicate when Trump was acting more insane than usual. Whenever he did something that was just so insane and so crazy and unhinged, when he would flip positions from one hour to the next, we'd just hashtag it TFA and keep moving. I'm a little embarrassed to tell you how often when I went through my text chains from the White House I saw the hashtag, said Manigault Newman, who, before she was fired by Chief of Staff John Kelly, was the highest-ranking African-American working in the White House. The hashtag referred to the 25th Amendment, which includes a section that allows the vice president and a majority of cabinet secretaries to declare a president unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. She repeated the allegation on The View, it was the way we coped and the way we would deal with his flip-flops. In the morning he would take one position. By the afternoon it would be something completely different. The way we coped would be, and I'm embarrassed to say this. We would use the orange icon. 